Tiny Doctor is an educational web game designed to teach players about human anatomy in an interactive and engaging way. The primary objective is to place different body parts in their correct locations on a body outline, learning about the bones within each part as they play. Overview. Purpose. Purpose, the game aims to educate players about the human body by offering a hands-on learning experience. It helps players familiarize themselves with various body parts and the bones they contain. Puzzle board, at the center of the screen, there is a detailed body outline where players need to place the body parts. This serves as the main interaction area for the game. Pieces container, below or beside the puzzle board, there is a container holding draggable SVG images of various body parts like the head, arms, and legs. Players can drag these parts onto the puzzle board. Information box. When a player hovers over a body part, an info box appears, providing educational information about the bones in that part. This enhances the learning experience by giving context and details. Instructions. A section explaining how to play the game, ensuring that players understand the objectives and how to interact with the game elements. Interaction. Drag and drop. Players drag body parts from the pieces container and drop them onto the correct locations on the body outline. This interactive element makes learning engaging and fun. Hover for info. Hovering over a body part displays an info box with details about the bones in that part, adding an educational layer to the game. Technical details. Backend, the game uses Flask, a lightweight web framework to serve the application. Frontend, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript are used for structuring and styling the game, as well as handling the interactive drag and drop functionality. Instructions for GitHub Copilot to help you improve the code. Here are the issues and corresponding solutions. One, drag and drop stops working. This issue might occur if the event listeners are not properly set up or if there are issues with the cloned elements. Two, hover effect not working. The hover effect might not be working if the event listeners are not properly attached to the elements. This is what happens when uh, moving the piece inside the body canvas. Uh, we would like to, to actually be moving and not uh, uh, leaving a copy in the previous location. GitHub Copilot instructions. Fixing drag and drop functionality. One. Ensure that event listeners for drag and drop are properly attached to the dynamically created elements. Two, verify that the drag and drop event handlers are correctly implemented and can handle the cloning of elements without losing their draggable properties. Improving the hover effect. Ensure that the hover event listeners are attached to the elements and that the info box correctly displays the information. Detailed steps one, update drag and drop event listeners. Ensure that each draggable element has the necessary event listeners attached, even after being cloned. Properly manage the positions and boundaries to ensure the elements can be moved around freely. 2. Enhance hover event listeners. Ensure the hover event listeners are correctly attached to the elements. Properly manage the display and positioning of the info box. Ensure smooth and responsive dragging and dropping. Let's refine the instructions to GitHub Copilot to fix these issues. Instructions for GitHub Copilot 1. Ensure only one part is added from the selection box. After a piece is placed on the board, remove it from the selection box. 2. Handle cloning and unique identifiers. Assign unique IDs to cloned elements and handle them properly. 3. Enhance mouse response. Improve the visual feedback and responsiveness of the dragging operation. Specific instructions for GitHub Copilot. Additionally, we want to make sure the pieces are draggable and move smoothly. Ensure smooth drag and drop without leaving copies. Ensure the piece moves smoothly without leaving copies in the previous locations. Ensure the piece is removed from the selection box after being placed on the board. Ensure that the pieces are moved instead of cloned when dropped. Two, handle the removal of elements from the selection box. Once a piece is moved from the selection box, it should be removed. Updated drop function to move elements. We'll update the drop function to directly move the piece rather than cloning it each time it's dropped. Explanation of changes. To ensure that pieces can be moved to a new location after being placed, without leaving copies behind in their previous location or the selection box, we need to make sure the event listeners and functions handle these actions correctly. Below is the refined code that addresses these issues. One, ensure proper drag and drop functionality. Pieces should be moved, not cloned, 
to avoid duplicates. Pieces should be removable from the selection box once placed on the board. Pieces should be able to be moved again after being placed. To ensure event listeners are properly attached, event listeners should remain attached to pieces even after they are moved. This Python script uses the SVG Write library to generate SVG images for a detailed body outline and individual body parts. These SVG images are then used in the Tiny Doctor application. The SVG images help create an interactive and educational experience by allowing users to drag and drop these parts onto a body outline. Here's a breakdown of what each function does and how it contributes to the overall project. Breakdown of the code. Create detailed body outline SVG file name purpose. This function creates a detailed SVG image of a body outline, including the head, torso, arms, and legs. Parameters. File name specifies where the SVG file will be saved. Implementation uses the SVG write.drawing method to initialize an SVG drawing canvas. Draws the head as an ellipse. Draws the torso using a path to create a more complex shape. Draws the arms and legs using paths to create curved lines. Saves the drawing to the specified file. Chat create detailed body part SVG part name file name. Purpose. This function creates individual SVG images for different body parts such as the head, arms, and legs. Parameters. Part name specifies which body part to draw. File name specifies where the SVG file will be saved. Implementation uses the svgwrite.drawing method to initialize an SVG drawing canvas. Depending on the part name, it draws the specified body part using either ellipses or paths. Saves the drawing to the specified file. How to use one. Install svgwrite library. You need to have the svgwrite library installed. You can install it using pip, bash pip install svg write. 2. Run the script. Execute the script to generate the svg files. The generated files will be saved in the specified directory, e.g. static images slash. 3. Integrate with the Tiny Doctor application. Use these svg files in the Tiny Doctor application's HTML as draggable elements. Ensure the paths to the svg files are correctly set in your HTML. Challenges and resolutions. Challenges. 1. Interactivity issues. Users experienced issues with dragging and dropping elements. The SVG elements needed to be properly handled to maintain their draggable functionality after being placed on the board. 2. Element management. Managing multiple instances of body parts and ensuring they do not overlap or interfere with each other was a challenge. Ensuring the elements do not leave copies in the selection box after being moved. Resolutions. 1. Maintaining draggable functionality, ensured draggable attributes and event listeners were properly managed and reattached after elements were moved. Efficient cloning and event handling, avoided cloning elements unnecessarily and handled elements directly to prevent duplicates and maintain smooth interactions. Bigger picture. Tiny Doctor application, an educational tool designed to teach users about human anatomy through interactive drag and drop functionality. Users can place different body parts onto a body outline and learn about the bones and functions associated with each part. Updated code. JavaScript let clone counter equal zero. Counter to generate unique IDs for clones function allow drop eve eve, eve dot prevent default, function drag eve, eve dot data transfer dot set data text, eve dot target dot ID, eve dot data transfer dot effect allowed equals move, eve.target class list. Next steps and bigger picture. One, expand educational content. Additional body parts. Include more detailed parts such as internal organs, muscles, and other anatomical structures. Systems and functions. Expand the scope to include different bodily systems, e.g. cardiovascular, respiratory, digestive, and explain their functions. Two, enhance gamification elements. Levels and challenges. Introduce multiple levels with increasing complexity and specific challenges to maintain engagement. Achievements and rewards. Implement a system of achievements and rewards to motivate users and encourage continuous learning. Three, integrate interactive learning modules. Quizzes and assessments. Incorporate quizzes and assessments to test users' knowledge and reinforce learning. 3D models and animations. Use 3D models and animations to provide a more immersive and detailed learning experience. 4. User experience and accessibility. Multilingual support. Offer the game in multiple languages to reach a broader audience. Accessibility features. 
Ensure the game is accessible to users with disabilities by adding features like screen reader support and adjustable text sizes. Five, feedback and analytics, user feedback. Implement a feedback mechanism to gather user experiences and suggestions for improvement. Analytics, use analytics to track user engagement and performance, helping to refine and improve the game based on data-driven insights. Integration with Bionichouse.com. One, seamless integration, unified platform, integrate Tiny Doctor into the existing suite of tools on Bionichouse.com, providing a cohesive learning experience. Cross promotion, promote Tiny Doctor alongside other educational resources on the platform to enhance user engagement. Two, consistent branding and user experience. Visual design, expanding the Tiny Doctor application to include more detailed parts such as internal organs, muscles, and other anatomical structures can greatly enhance its educational value. Here's a step-by-step -step plan on how to approach this expansion. Step-by-step -step plan for including additional body parts. One, identify and select additional body parts. Internal organs, heart, lungs, liver, stomach, intestines, kidneys, brain, muscles, major muscle groups such as biceps, triceps, quadriceps, hamstrings, pectorals, abdominals, other structures, blood vessels, nerves, tendons, ligaments. Two, create SVG images for each new part. Design, use SVG Write or other vector graphics software to design detailed SVG images for each additional body part. Consistency, ensure that the new SVG images are consistent in style and scale with the existing body parts. Three, update the Python script to generate new SVGs. Functions, add new functions to the Python script for generating SVG images of the additional body parts. Organization, organize the SVG files in the static images slash directory. Four, update the HTML and CSS. HTML, add the new body parts to the HTML as draggable elements. Update the CSS to ensure the new elements are styled consistently with the existing parts. Five, Update the JavaScript for drag and drop functionality. Event listeners, ensure that the new parts have the necessary drag and drop event listeners attached. Infobox, update the infobox content to provide educational information about the new parts. Has six, expand educational content, information. Research and write educational content for each new body part to display when the user hovers over or places the part. Interactive elements, Consider adding quizzes or mini challenges related to the new parts. Seven, test the application. Functionality, test the drag and drop functionality with the new parts to ensure they work correctly. User experience, gather feedback to ensure the new additions enhance the learning experience. Example, adding internal organs. Update the Python script to generate SVGs. Python import SVG write function to create detailed SVG images for internal organs. Def create detailed internal organs SVG part name file name DWG equals SVG write dot drawing file name profile equals tiny size of 100 100. If part name equal equals heart, heart equals DWG pen 50 Q 60 30 50 50 Q 40 30 50 10. Fill equals red black stroke width dot add heart. Elif part name equal equals lungs. Lungs equals D dot path D equals M 30 10 Q 50 50 70 10 Q 50 70 10. Fill equals light pink. Stroke was black, stroke with three, DWG dot add lungs. Elif part name equals liver. Liver equals a G dot path, D equals M20, 30, Q40, 10, 60, Q50, 20, 30. Fill of brown, stroke was black, stroke was three, D dot add liver. Add more internal organs as needed, D dot save. Create the detailed internal organs SVG images. Create detailed internal organs heart static slash images heart dot SVG. Create detailed internal organs SVG lungs, static images lungs.svg. Create detailed internal organs SVG liver, static images liver.svg. Update the HTML. HTML, div existing parts, img start static images slash vg, class equal puzzle piece, draggable true, on drag start dragged, idx head, data info, the head contains the skull, which protects the brain. New internal organs, minja slash heart docile piece, Draggable true on drag start dry vent. Data in heart. The heart pumps blood through the body. Static slash images lungs dot cg. Class puzzle to piece. Draggable true on drag start equal drag event. ID equals lungs. The lungs take in oxygen and expel carbon dioxide. Optify images slash at puzzle piece draggable true on drug liver. Data equals a liver. 
the liver processes nutrients and detoxifies the body. To make the body parts more realistic, follow these instructions. One, research and reference. Use anatomical references. Study detailed anatomical charts and models to understand the accurate shapes, proportions, and colors of each body part. High quality images. Use high resolution images of real anatomical specimens or medical illustrations as references. Two, design tools and techniques. Vector graphics software. Use tools like Adobe Illustrator, Inkscape, or CorelDRAW to create detailed and scalable vector images of body parts. Layering. Use multiple layers to add depth and dimension. For example, use separate layers for outlines, shading, and highlights. Gradients and shadows. Apply gradients and shadows to add realism and three-dimensionality to the illustrations. Textures. Incorporate subtle textures to simulate the natural appearance of skin, muscle, and organ surfaces. Chat of three, color and shading, realistic colors. Use natural colors that accurately represent the appearance of each body part. For instance, muscles are typically reddish, while organs like the liver have a brownish hue. Shading techniques. Use techniques such as hatching, cross-hatching, and stippling to create realistic shading effects. Lighting. Consider the light source and how it affects the appearance of the body parts. Add highlights and shadows accordingly to create a sense of depth. Four, detailing and accuracy. Proportions. Ensure that the proportions of the body parts are accurate relative to each other and to the overall body. Anatomical details. Include finer anatomical details such as veins, muscle striations, and surface landmarks. Consistency. Maintain a consistent level of detail across all body parts to ensure a cohesive and realistic look. Five, feedback and iteration. Get feedback from medical professionals or anatomy experts to ensure anatomical accuracy. User testing. Conduct user testing with learners to gather feedback on the realism and clarity of the illustrations. Iterate. Refine and improve the illustrations based on feedback to enhance their realism and educational value. And Hunter six. Integration and display. Resolution. Ensure that the final images are of high resolution to maintain clarity and detail when zoomed in. Responsive design. Make sure the images are optimized for various screen sizes and resolutions to provide a consistent experience across devices. Interactivity. Enhance the interactivity of the illustrations by adding features like zooming, panning, and clickable hotspots that provide additional information. By following these instructions, you can create more realistic and detailed illustrations of body parts that enhance the educational experience of the Tiny Doctor application. This will make the application not only more visually appealing, but also more effective as a learning tool. Yes, there are several open source libraries and resources that you can use to create more realistic and detailed body parts for your Tiny Doctor application. Here are some recommendations, open source libraries and resources. One, BioDigital Human, description. BioDigital Human provides a comprehensive library of interactive 3D anatomy models. While the full features are paid, they offer an open source version called BioDigital Human Light. Link, BioDigital Human Light, biodigital.com slash light. Usage, use their models as references or integrate interactive 3D models into your application. Two, Zygote Body. Description, Zygote Body, formerly Google Body, is an interactive 3D model of the human body. It allows users to explore different layers of the human body. Link, zygotebody.com. Use their models as references for your SVG designs or embed interactive elements into your application. Three, Body Parts 3D. Description, Body Parts 3D is an anatomical dictionary that provides detailed 3D models of human anatomy. Link by lifesciencedb.jjbp, usage, download the 3D models and use them as references for creating realistic SVG images. Four, Open Anatomy Project, description, an open source project that aims to create and share high quality anatomical models. Link Open Anatomy Project, that, like, dot openanatomy.org, usage, Use their models and resources to enhance the realism of your body part illustrations. Five, Inkscape. Description. Inkscape is a powerful open source vector graphics editor that you can use to create and edit SVG files. Inkscape, inkscape.org slash 
Use Inkscape to design and refine your body part illustrations, applying techniques like gradients, shadows, and textures. Six, the noun project, description. The noun project offers a collection of icons and illustrations, including medical and anatomical icons. Link the nounproject.com usage. Use icons as references or incorporate them into your application for additional visual elements. Seven, Sketchfab. Description, Sketchfab hosts a large repository of 3D models, including many anatomical models. Some models are available for free as slash sketchfab.com usage. Explore anatomical models to use as references for your SVG designs. Steps to use these resources. One, research and reference. Use the 3D models and illustrations from the mentioned resources to study the anatomy of the body parts you want to include. Two, design with Inkscape, import reference images or models into Inkscape. Use Inkscape's tools to trace and design detailed and realistic SVG images. Reintegrate into your application. Ensure the SVG files are optimized for performance. Update your HTML and JavaScript to incorporate the new SVG files, ensuring they are interactive and draggable as per your application's requirements. Four, test and iterate. Test the new designs for usability and educational value. Iterate based on feedback to improve the accuracy and clarity of the illustrations. By leveraging these open source resources and tools, you can create realistic and educational body part illustrations for your Tiny Doctor application without the need for expert consultation. Improving the realism of body parts in Tiny Doctor. To enhance the realism of the body parts in Tiny Doctor, you can leverage various open source libraries and design tools. Here's how to proceed. One, research and reference. Anatomical references. Use anatomical charts, 3D models, and medical illustrations from resources like BioDigital Human Light, Zygote Body, Body Parts 3D, and the Open Anatomy Project. High quality images. Gather high resolution images of real anatomical specimens or illustrations to use as references. Two, design tools and techniques. Inkscape. Use Inkscape or similar ve vector graphic software to design detailed and scalable SVG images. Website, inkscape.slash. Layering. Use multiple layers for depth and dimension. For example, separate layers for outlines, shading, and highlights. Gradients and shadows. Apply gradients and shadows for a three-dimensional effect. Textures. Add subtle textures to simulate the natural appearance of skin, muscle, and organ surfaces. Three, SVG libraries, Open Anatomy Project. Utilize detailed anatomical models available from the Open Anatomy Project. Open Anatomy Project, www.openanatomy.org. Body Parsh, use 3D models from Body Parts 3D as references for your SVG designs. Website, bodypostdbjp 3 d slash BioDigital Human Light, integrate or reference interactive 3D anatomy models. Website, biodigital.com slash and four. Color and shading, realistic colors. Use natural colors for each body part, e.g. muscles are reddish, organs like the liver are brownish. Shading techniques, apply shading techniques like hatching, cross hatching, and stippling for realism. Lighting. Consider light sources and add highlights and shadows accordingly. Five, detailed SVG creation. Using Inkscape, you can create more realistic SVGs by following these steps. Import references. Import high quality anatomical references into Inkscape. Draw outline. Use the pen or pencil tool to draw the detailed outline of the body part. Add layers. Create layers for the base color, shading, highlights, and textures. Apply gradients. Use the gradient tool to add depth and a three-dimensional look. Texture details. Add fine details and textures to mimic the natural appearance. Six, integration and testing. Optimize SVG files. Ensure the SVG files are optimized for performance. Update HTML and JavaScript. Integrate the new SVG files into your HTML and ensure they are interactive and draggable. User testing. Test the updated application for usability and gather feedback to make improvements. Example steps for designing a heart SVG in Inkscape. One, import reference. Import a high quality image of a heart. Two, outline. Use the pen tool to trace the outline of the heart. Three, base layer. Create a base layer with a red fill color. Four, shading layer. Add shading using gradients to create a 3D effect. Five, detail layer. Draw veins and other fine details. Six, highlight layer. Add highlights to areas that would catch light. Clusion. 
By utilizing these tools and techniques, you can create realistic and detailed body parts for the Tiny Doctor application. This will enhance the educational value and user experience, making the application more effective and engaging. Integrating resources from open source libraries and using vector graphics tools like Inkscape will help you achieve professional quality results. Generating a better model for the heart. Creating a comprehensive and accurate model of the heart involves several steps, combining anatomical and physiological data with advanced modeling techniques. Here's a guide to building a robust heart model. Data collection. Imaging techniques. Utilize high-resolution imaging techniques such as MRI, CT scans, and echocardiography to capture detailed anatomical structures of the heart. These provide spatial data and help in understanding the heart's geometry and function. Electrophysiological data. Collect data on the electrical activity of the heart using techniques like electrocardiograms, ECGs, and electrophysiology studies. Hemodynamic data. Gather data on blood flow and pressure using Doppler ultrasound, cardiac catheterization, and other invasive and non-invasive methods. Two, anatomical modeling. 3D reconstruction. Use the imaging data to reconstruct a 3D anatomical model of the heart. Software like 3D Slicer or Mimix can be used to segment and reconstruct the heart's anatomy from imaging data. Tissue properties. Incorporate the mechanical properties of cardiac tissues. This includes understanding the elasticity, contractility, and anisotropy of myocardial tissues. HANA 3. Physiological Modeling Electrophysiological Model Implement models that simulate the electrical activity of the heart. The most widely used models are based on the Hodgkin-Huxley framework or its derivatives, such as the Luo-Rudi model. Hemodynamic Model Develop a model of blood flow through the heart chambers and vessels. Computational Fluid Dynamics CFD, tools can simulate how blood moves through the heart, considering factors like flow velocity, pressure gradients, and turbulence. SATA 4. Integration and Simulation Coupling Models Integrate the anatomical, electrophysiological, and hemodynamic models. This creates a comprehensive simulation of heart function, capturing the interaction between electrical signals, muscle contractions, and blood flow. Software Tools Use advanced simulation software like ANSYS, Comsol Multiphysics, or dedicated cardiac simulation platforms like SimVascular or the Cardiac Arrhythmia Research Package, CARP, to run the integrated models. Five, validation and refinement. Experimental validation. Compare model outputs with experimental data from clinical studies or laboratory experiments. Adjust the model parameters to improve accuracy. Patient-specific modeling. Customize models to fit individual patient data for personalized medicine applications. This can involve adjusting anatomical structures and physiological parameters to match patient-specific data. 6. Applications Clinical diagnosis and treatment Use the model to understand pathological conditions, predict disease progression, and plan surgical or therapeutic interventions. Drug development Simulate how different drugs affect heart function, aiding in the development of new cardiac medications. Educational tools. Provide interactive 3D models for medical education, helping students and professionals better understand cardiac anatomy and physiology. Example of a detailed heart model workflow. One, data acquisition. Obtain high-resolution MRI CT images. Collect ECG data and hemodynamic measurements. Two, 3D reconstruction. Segment heart structures using software like 3D Slicer. Reconstruct a 3D anatomical model of the heart. 3. Electrophysiological modeling. Implement a cell level model like the Luo Rudi model for electrical activity. Simulate propagation of electrical signals through the heart. 4. Hemodynamic simulation. Use CFD tools to simulate blood flow dynamics. Model interactions between blood flow and cardiac muscle contractions. 5. Integration and simulation. Combine anatomical, electrophysiological, and hemodynamic models. Use simulation software to run integrated heart function models. Six, validation and refinement. Compare simulation results with experimental data. Adjust model parameters for accuracy. Seven, applications. Use models for clinical decision-making, drug testing, and education. By following these steps and leveraging advanced computational tools, you can create a highly detailed and functional model of the heart that can be used for various medical and research applications.
For further reading and resources, you can refer to Empatica Developer Documentation slash developer.empatica.com and other relevant scientific literature on cardiac modeling. To generate a more realistic and detailed model for the heart, you can follow these steps using a combination of reference materials and design tools. Here's a step-by-step -step guide. Textures. Use small lines and shapes to create textures that mimic the heart's surface. Generate a more realistic and detailed model for the heart. You can follow these steps using a combination of reference materials and design tools. Here's a step-by-step -step guide on how to create a detailed heart SVG using Inkscape, along with the necessary considerations for achieving a realistic look. Steps to create a realistic heart SVG. One, gather reference materials. Use high quality images of real hearts, anatomical charts, or 3D models from resources like bio to generate a more realistic and detailed model for the heart, you can follow these steps using a combination of reference materials and design tools. Here's a step-by-step -step guide on how to create a detailed heart SVG using Inkscape, along with the necessary considerations for achieving a realistic look. Steps to create a realistic heart SVG. Gather reference materials. Use high-quality images of real hearts, anatomical charts, or 3D models from resources like BioDigital Human, Zygote Body, or Body Parts 3D. Study the structure and appearance of the heart, noting its shape, colors, and textures. Two, prepare your design tool. Install Inkscape. If you haven't already, download and install Inkscape from Inkscape, inkscape.org slash. Three, import references into Inkscape. Open Inkscape and import your reference image. File import. Four, outline the heart. Use the pen tool P to trace the outer shape of the heart. Create separate paths for major components like the left and right atria, ventricles, and major blood vessels. Hatter 5, add base colors. Select the paths and fill them with base colors that match the heart's natural appearance. Use red for the muscle, blue for veins, and lighter colors for details like fat. 6, apply gradients and shading. Gradients, use the gradient tool, G to add depth and a three-dimensional look. Apply linear and radial gradients to simulate light and shadow. Shading, add darker shades where the light wouldn't naturally reach, such as under vessels and within crevices. Then, add details and textures. Veins and arteries. Draw the veins and arteries on the heart surface using the pen tool, filling them with appropriate colors. Textures, use small lines and shapes to create textures that mimic the heart surface, like muscle striations. 8. Add highlights. Use white or very light colors to add highlights where the light would hit the heart. This can be done with the pen tool and set to a low opacity for a subtle effect. 9. Final adjustments. Adjust the stroke width and color to make the outlines less prominent and more natural. Ensure all parts are properly layered with no overlaps that don't belong. Example SVG Heart Creation in Inkscape. Below are the instructions on creating a heart SVG. Instructions. 1. Start a new project. Open Inkscape and start a new document. 2. Import reference image. Import a reference image of a heart. File import. 3. Draw the outline. Use the pen tool to trace the outline of the heart and its main components, atria, ventricles, and vessels. 4. Add base colors. Fill each section with base colors, red for muscle, blue for veins, etc. 5. Apply gradients. Select a path, then apply a gradient from the Fill and Stroke panel, shift Control f Adjust the gradient stops to create a 3D effect. 6. Detailing. Draw veins and arteries with the pen tool, filling them with appropriate colors. Add texture details using small strokes or shapes to mimic muscle striations. 7. Highlighting. Use the pen tool to draw highlights with white or light colors. Set them to a low opacity for subtle effects. 8. Final touches. Refine the shapes and adjust the stroke widths to make the outlines look natural. Group related elements together for easier manipulation. Detailed instructions for creating a realistic heart SVG. 1. Outline the heart. Trace the outline of the heart and main components with the pen tool. Separate paths for each major section, e.g. left atrium, right atrium. 2. Fill with base colors. Select the paths and fill them with base colors from the fill and stroke panel. Red for muscle, lighter reds or pinks for details. 3. Add gradients and shadows. Apply gradients to add depth. Add darker shades to simulate shadow and light effects. 4. Draw details. 
Use the pen tool to draw veins and arteries. Fill these paths with appropriate colors and adjust their opacity. Five, texture and highlighting. Add textures with small lines or shapes to mimic the heart's muscle texture. Use highlights to show where light hits the heart. Six, final adjustments. Adjust stroke widths and ensure all paths are correctly layered. Visual example one, outline. Outline example, upload.wikimedia.org, Wikipedia Commons 221 heart diagram, no text. Two, base colors. Fill atria with light red. Fill ventricles with darker red. Three, gradients and shadows. Apply radial gradients to the ventricles for a 3D look. Four, details. Draw and color veins and arteries. Five, textures. Add muscle striations using small strokes. By following these steps and using the provided instructions, you can create a more realistic and detailed SVG model of the heart for the Tiny Doctor application. This will enhance the educational value and visual appeal of the game. Yes, you can create a detailed SVG of a heart fully in Python using the SVG Write library. Here's how you can do it step by step. Step by step guide to create a detailed heart SVG in Python. 1. Install SVG Write. First, ensure you have the SVG Write library installed. You can install it via pip esh pip install svg write. 2. Create the heart svg. Below is a detailed Python script using svg write to create a realistic heart svg. This example includes layers for base colors, gradients, and some basic details. Python import svg write from svg write import rgb. Create the svg drawing. dwg svg write dot drawing heart dot sv profile equals the tiny size of 200. Define colors. Muscle colors RGB 55000, red vein colors RGB 0255, blue artery color equals RGB 5192213, pink. Add the base shape of the heart dwg.add wg.path d equals m100, 20q140, 40, 120q160, 100140, 180, 60140, q40, 100, 180080, q60, 40, 120, fill equals muscle color, stroke equals black 2. Add veins using blue color. dwg.add wg.path d equals 120 q90 60 70 80 fill equals none stroke equal vein color stroke width 2. dwg.add dwg.path d equals 100 q1 and 10 60 1 3rd 80 fill equals none stroke vein color add arteries using pink color wg.add f ab m140 q120 120 100 100 stroke artery color stroke with the two wg.add path deets m60 140 q80 120 100 100 fill none stroke with artery color stroke with the two add shading darker red dwg.add dot path d equals m100 140 140 100 180 fill equals rgb 200 0, 0 cent stroke with none opacity 0.5 dwg.add d equals m100 100 q60 400 on 180 fill its rgb 200 z1 stroke going 0.5 add highlights lighter red dwg.add d equals m130 q120 50 100 by 70 fill its rgb 255 102 102 cent stroke equals none opacity equals 0 0.5 dwg.add wg path dm svg created in the example provided is a simplified representation of a heart but it lacks the detailed anatomical accuracy and realism that we aimed for. Let's break down the current design and identify areas for improvement. Analysis of the current SVG. One, shape. The basic shape is somewhat heart-like, but lacks the natural curves and details that a real heart has. The top section does not clearly represent the atria. The lower section is too symmetrical and does not represent the ventricles accurately. Two, Colors. The use of red for the entire heart is a good start, but it lacks shading and highlights that would give it a three-dimensional appearance. The blue veins and pink arteries are present but not anatomically placed. Details. The details such as veins and arteries are minimal and do not provide the intricate network found in a real heart. Shading and highlights are simplistic and do not add depth. Improvements for a more realistic heart SVG. To create a more realistic heart SVG, consider the following improvements. One, refine the shape. Use more accurate anatomical references to draw the heart's shape, including the left and right atria, ventricles, and major blood vessels. Two, add detailed layers. Add separate layers for the myocardium, heart muscle, endocardium, and epicardium.
include the coronary arteries and veins with accurate placement and detail. Three, enhance colors and shading. Use gradients and multiple shades of red to add depth to the heart muscle. Apply shading to create a three-dimensional effect. Add highlights to simulate light reflection. Four, incorporate anatomical details. Draw the aorta, pulmonary artery, and veins with accurate shapes and connections. Include the atrioventricular and semilunar valves. Five, use realistic proportions. Ensure the proportions of the heart parts are accurate relative to each other. Example, updated Python code. Here is an updated version of the Python code that aims to address the above improvements. Python import SVG write from SVG write import RGB. Create the SVG drawing. DWG equals SVG write dot drawing detailed heart dot SVG size equals 200, 200. Tag define colors. Muscle color equals RGB 25500. Tatter, red vein color RG 00255. Blue artery color RG 25593. Pink shadow color equals RGB 200. Darker red for shading. Highlight color equals RGB 255102102. Lighter red for highlights. Add the base shape of the heart with more accurate anatomical details. DWG.add, DWG.path, D equals M100, 20, 20, 50, 1, 30, 8, 80, 100, 110, C70, 80, 80, 50, 130. Fill equals muscle color, stroke equals black, stroke width the two. DWG.add, DWG.path, D, M100, 110, C130, 80, 120, 100, 180, C60, 120, 70, 100, 110. Fill equals muscle color, stroke equals black, stroke width equals two. Add veins, using blue color, with more accurate placement. DWG.addg.path D equals M130, C90, 50, 85, 60, 80, plus 70. Fill equals none, stroke is vein color, stroke width of two. DW.add, DW.path, D equals M130, C110, 50, 115, 60, 120, plus 70. Fill equals none, stroke equals vein color, stroke width equals two. Add arteries using pink color with more accurate placement. DWJ. Dot add dot path D M100 110 C 120 120 40 130 160 strokes artery color stroke width two. DWG. Dot add DWG. Dot path D M100 110. Nonlinear features refer to aspects of a data set that cannot be captured by a simple linear relationship between the input variables and the target variable. These features can provide additional insights and improve the performance of machine learning models. Here's an overview of how to create and use nonlinear features. Types of nonlinear features. One, polynomial features, transforming features by raising them to a power. Example, nonlinear features refer to characteristics or transformations of data that capture relationships which cannot be explained by a straight line. They are essential in many machine learning and data analysis tasks because real-world data often exhibits complex, nonlinear patterns. Here's a more general explanation of nonlinear features. Understanding nonlinear features. 1. Definition. Nonlinear features are derived. Let's analyze the SVG image provided, focusing on each part and how it compares to a realistic heart. So just to do a quick uh, summary of what we did today, try this. That sounds silly. It's uh, not silly. Sorry. It's for yes, it's for kids eventually. Uh, but the idea was have some sort of a game model. Big trouble moving it around. Yeah, and that's not the mouth. That's uh, standing indicate. The lungs, <laughs> yeah, they can be improved a bit. Anyway, we already have it on the page. We'll keep updating it. So it's a work in progress. Well, everything is.